back to Late Night. Uh, we're here with Tom Holland. Last time you were here, uh, right before the holiday, we were talking about um, you had not had time, and obviously you're a busy guy, to finish your Christmas shopping for your family. I know you're very close with your yes. family. You always have at least one brother with you when you come here. It's very always true. nice to see him. Did you get it done? Did you get your Christmas shopping done? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just honestly, I'd finished the Spider-Man press tour, and I was so busy, and I was so tired, that I just, I just didn't do it. <laughs> And that's terrible, that's terrible. I, I've told my family and they're already in agreement that next year will be a double gift year. Oh, wow. And so I, they're basically, yeah, okay. Yeah, put your orders it. in now <laughs> and I'll sort you out. Don't so worry. they're ultimately patient with you. They're not, uh, they're not too judgmental of it. No, of course not. I mean, yeah. my, my family are wonderful and they, they know how hard I work and the traveling and, and you know, like, you know, the press tours are tough. It looks really glamorous and it is very glamorous. I'm yeah. not complaining, but I am complaining <laughs> because it's really tiring. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's the part that's the most <laughs> remarkable to me. We always talk backstage because yeah. you fit, uh, people don't understand that it's almost exactly as long as it takes to shoot a movie, especially yeah. the movie the size of uh, movies that you're making. You have to go out and then talk about them forever. Yeah, and honestly, I'm so sick of my own voice. Yeah. It's, it does get to that stage. I, I was, we, we'd finished work the other day and I bumped into someone in a bar and they asked me about Uncharted and immediately I just went into press mode like, it's a movie that ticks all the boxes. It's funny, <laughs> it's exciting. And I was like, stop talking like that. And then at the bar, did the manager come over and go, back to work, yeah. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> now, Uncharted, this movie came about because you uh, wanted to play sort of a young James Bond. Is that Yes. Yeah, it didn't work out quite as planned. <laughs> but if this is that kind of character. No, essentially, I just, I just, I'm such a big fan of James Bond and I, you know, I've loved Daniel Craig's movies and I just thought if they were to move on, it would be really exciting to see like how James Bond becomes James Bond. Sure. So I pitched this idea for a movie, which is kind of a stupid idea where essentially you wouldn't tell the audience that it was a James Bond movie until the end, but from a marketing point of view, that's a nightmare. <laughs> like, that just doesn't make any sense. Right, and you would never be able to keep that secret. No, mate, <laughs> if I got cast as Bond, I'd be like, I am James Bond, tweet. <laughs> but, um, but no, Tom Rossman really liked the idea, and you know, they've been trying to crack the case with Uncharted for a long time, you know. There's been loads of different actors. Mark Wahlberg, at one point, was gonna play Nate, and now he's old, so yeah. he plays yeah. Sully. Yeah. This is sort of like breaking Hollywood news that uh, Mark Wahlberg is old now. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, yeah. No, I've been saying that on, <laughs> in, on all the press tours. It's been really fun. It seems like, yeah, I, uh, Mark Wahlberg seems like a person that you would, um, as a co-star, that you would be able to tease uh, relentlessly back and forth. Because I would imagine he gives it as well as he takes it. Yeah, the, you, can, you can tease Mark, but he's also quite a scary guy. Yes, he is. So, like, I have a security guard who's one of my best mates, but I only tease Mark when Jack's around. <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I would right now, if I was like, well, Jack's not here, but Mark yeah. is. <laughs> I'm like, Jack! <laughs> um, and you, I, we've talked in the past as well about, you know, this is another big film, uh, great action. You, there's a stunt in this film that I want to yes. ask you about because obviously you're no stranger to stunts, but I've never seen somebody, um, you are in midair and you get hit by a car. That's true, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, how do they bring that to you as an idea? And then do you yeah. just call your stunt man right away and say, yeah. bad news? <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I don't know, it's one of those things where, I, this, for me, as a young kid growing up, the Indiana Joneses of the world was my favorite genre the of best. film. So to do it myself was really exciting, but then I had to do it, and I broke myself. Like, you, you, they tell you, right, we're gonna do this stunt where you're gonna jump into the back of an airplane, and then you get hit by a car out of the airplane. <laughs> and you're like, wow, that sounds amazing! And then you shoot it, and then you're on take 12, and they're like, can we go again? And you're like, no, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but it was, it was tough. I was actually on set on Spider-Man pitching the movie to Zendaya. I was going through the film scene by scene, and I told her that. I was like, oh, there's this great bit where I get hit by a car out of a plane. And she's like, I have to stop you there. <laughs> what on earth is this movie about? <laughs> but it, um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And the stunts is something I've always really enjoyed. I have two amazing stunt doubles who I've worked with for a, a number of years now. And we have a great little thing going on where, you know, our motto is that things should look dangerous while being safe. Right. That's not always the case. You know, there's bangs and bruises here and there, but it's part of the job. 
But, uh, but yeah, being hit by the car... My mum actually came to set that day. Oh, wow. Did she know it was hit by the car day? No. OK. And then the next day, after hit by the car, was drowned in the well day. Wow. But it was brutal. Yeah, I guess that would have been awful if she, like, read the script and said, I want to be there on the day you get hit by a yeah, car. Yeah. And I definitely want to be there and drown in the well. It's just, it's that thing for me, like, whenever my mum and dad come to visit set is always the day where I don't work. It's mm. always the day where I'm in my trailer and I have nothing to do because they're like, there's a problem with the soundstage or they're doing a different scene. You're just, we need to wait for you. So my parents are always like, why are you so tired all the time? <laughs> like, what is wrong with our son? <laughs> And then, obviously, coming to set on those two days consecutively, That's good. I was like, this is why I'm so tired all yeah. the time. Yeah. You're like, you know, you get hit by a car out of a plane and buy Christmas gifts for the whole yeah. family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, um, it is always a, a full pleasure to have you here. Thank uh, you. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for making time always for us. Always a pleasure. Thank you.